Hello and welcome to my uh, Python tutorial series concerning math and stock indicators within the Python programming language. Uh, quick caveat here, the series is for educational use only. So the main purpose here is to teach you how to do like complex mathematical equations or semi-complex mathematical equations within Python. So many people enjoy or have a passion for uh, technical analysis with stocks. Uh, so I've chosen to do it with stock prices, uh, mostly just because uh, there's a whole lot of formulas that are popularly used with stocks, forex, futures, and there's a lot you can learn by just practicing mathematical equations for these kinds of things, and you can apply this kind of uh, this skill to all kinds of formulas in the future as well, even if you're not doing stocks, forex, futures, or whatever. So with that, the series is not intended to induce anybody to take part in actual trading, right? So this is just educational to show you how it's done, but beyond that, uh, it's not my responsibility to watch over you. Uh, so yeah, so this is just purely educational use only. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for the most part of this series, I'm gonna be doing everything in three main parts per formula. To start, I'm gonna show you a couple formulas really quick just because they're very basic. Uh, but most of the time, it's gonna be first explaining the indicator, showing it to you or the formula. Uh, what its point is, how it's used, the variables within it, maybe some history if there's anything you know special there. Um, then I'm going to show you how to program that formula into Python, just very basic how to do it. And um, with that, since that's kind of like the second mention of Python here, uh, or third, um, it's not going to be required that you know anything about Python at all. You can just follow along. You're going to need to download Python and the de NumPy dependency but uh, you won't have to start this with any knowledge of programming or Python at all. It's my intention kind of to, if this is your interest, that maybe this will be the way that you can, you can learn the Python programming language itself. So, um, so yeah, you won't need that. I'll show you how to download Python and, and how to use it, at least uh, for the purpose of this series. And uh, so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll work out even if you, you don't know any programming language. Um, I try to explain everything as I go along, and also Python is just pretty noob-friendly uh, to start with. So after showing you the basic example of programming the equation into Python, I'm going to show you uh, an incorporation of that into our matplotlib finance charting application that we built uh, in another series. Uh, on those videos, I'll include that script. Uh, that you want to edit and just for purposes here I'll show you the actual script itself. So this is the script that we have and you can put anything in here. So let's say we want to graph uh, Apple. We put in the stock price or the uh, ticker for Apple and here's our chart that we made. If, uh, if that looks interesting to you guys, we've got, I've got a, an entire series starting absolutely from scratch to how to generate this chart exactly like this. Uh, so for this series we're not going to be getting into how, how this was all done. Uh, we're just going to get into the calculation and the displaying of that data. And so what we're going to end up doing is replacing right down here. We're going to take out the MACD and we're going to put all our formulas down here so we can actually depict uh, what we've been working on. So that's what we'll be doing. And this code is going to be uh, live on my website. So I'll show you how to download that code. I'm going to exit out of this. Um, oops, right over here. Uh, so to get, get the code to that, uh, just go to syntex.com and then go slash starting point but make sure you capitalize that P otherwise you're not going to get the file hit enter and that will take you to the uh, full source code of what I was just showing you it's going to come empty without the uh, MACD eventually in the series we'll, we'll cover the MACD as well and all of our programming will be between these lines whenever we add it to the code so you'll just type it right up in, in here um, so anyway, that's that. Literally just you know, highlight and copy and paste this into a Python uh, script. So now, if you don't have Python, you'll need to come over here, go to download. So it's python.org and then download. And then you're going to need not 3.3, you're going to want to download 2.7 for whatever you have. If you're on a Mac, download that. If you're on a Windows, download your Windows installer. Once you've done that, the next thing we need is NumPy. The easiest way to install NumPy is with an installer, and that would be over here. And I will provide a link to all of this stuff in the description, but this is the website I would download it NumPy from because it comes in an installer. So if you downloaded a 64-bit version of Python, you would use you would download this one, AMD64. If you downloaded a 32-bit version of Python, you would download this one right here. Again, I'll put the links in the description. 
So once you're all done downloading Python, you should be able to go to your start bar and literally type in Python and you should be able to get, um, there should be something called IDLE in Python GUI in the parentheses or Python command line. So let's go ahead and click on the one that says IDLE for Python GUI. You'll click that and this will come up. As you can see, if you don't know what bit version you downloaded, it'll say it right here. I have a 64-bit version of Python. So to now, to get yourself from this point to the window that we're going to be developing in, you'll want to go to File, New Window, and that'll open up like a blank one, like almost like a notepad, right? And this would be an example of what we would type uh, our program into. So just for uh, the purposes, this program would be real basic. It's just going to print high whenever it's ran. And to save it, because it's an untitled program, you'll want to go to File, Save As, obviously. And then you'll get a window here uh, where you want to save it. For now, let's just, I'll put it on my desktop. And, and then we'll come down here. And what you, it's hard to remember to do it. You only have to do it one time. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to literally type in, um, you know, where you want to save it. So let's just say, uh, you know, tutorial, right? But don't just save it as tutorial. Make sure you add .py at the end. Otherwise, it won't automatically save it as a Python file and it'll come up just like a notepad file. So it's very annoying. So if you save it as .py, that'll be all hunky-dory for you. You're all done. Finally, last thing before we uh, conclude this video and actually get into some programming, um, to run the script, you can either go click on Run and Run Module, or you can just hit F5 on your keyboard. So I'm going to do that a lot, and you might not see, like, how the heck am I running the script. So I'll hit F5, and that runs a script, very simple script. It just prints out high. So that should cover everything uh, that you'll need to do this series. I don't think we'll be using anything else besides, um, I guess we're actually going to use matplotlib uh, with this. Let me look at the source code again and make sure that's the only other thing that we add into here. Uh, and PyLab, so we would need, need to get uh, that. So if you come back over to this website here, again, I'll put the links in this the description. I believe they have PyLab. Let me make sure. Uh, not PyLab here. Uh, let's do matplotlib. Here we go. Right here. Uh, you can at least download matplotlib uh, from here. So I'll put that link in the description. Finally, you're going to need to get uh, PyLab because uh, we are using PyLab. Actually, let me make sure that's a 100% dependency of this script. Uh, all right, uh, it's actually, it's just been a long time since I uh, first installed matplotlib. So um, as far as I'm aware, it looks like PyLab actually is, is comes bundled with matplotlib. So they're one and the same. So as long as you download matplotlib, that's PyLab. If that isn't the case, someone can comment, uh, comment here. But as long as you have that, that's good. The other thing you can do is you can download, uh, let's see if this even has it, Python. Uh, I don't see it here. You can download, oh, here we go, like this, like Python XY. That comes with, um, all, it comes with like a bunch of cool applications and modules for Python. Uh, but at least for this tutorial series, it's not totally necessary. Anyway, if anybody has any trouble downloading and getting everything necessary uh, to run uh, the script that's on my website, uh, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to help y'all out uh, and figure out what, what's going on. So anyway, you should be able to take this. And so, for example, with our tutorial uh, right here, you should be able to just, you know, literally just do a control A, copy that, come over here, paste, and you should have no problem. Hit F5, save it to run it, and this should pop up for you like this. You put in whatever you want to uh, graph, and you should get a graph up here. If that's not happening for you, and this should be empty, Right, so it won't have the MACD that we had in there before. Um, if this isn't happening for you guys, uh, leave a comment below and we'll get that, we'll get it figured out, uh, whatever's going wrong. So anyway, uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Didn't intend this to be as long as it was, uh, but there's a lot of little stuff to mention before we get, get into it. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for the support and subscriptions, and until next time.